Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl here, Sharonda Simone. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a detailed step-by-step -step instruction video for you because many of you have been asking me how to remove the back straps from the Evenflow 4-in-1 convertible high chair. Now, you guys, if you've been watching my channel, you know that we got this high chair over a year ago and it is still holding up. I still think it is one of the best convertible high chairs on the market, especially for the price, just the durability, everything about it is great. And what I really love is that I can deep clean, including the straps. So I have already removed the straps and the liner. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that, you guys. Of course, anytime I'm doing a full deep clean, I want to wash the straps and I want to wash the liner. So if you watch until the end of this video, you're going to see exactly why so many people have trouble removing the back straps. All right, that's my little one in the background, you guys. I'm trying to get this up for you before the end of the night because I promised one of my subscribers that I would do that. So just bear with me. But I'm gonna show you exactly why you're having so much trouble actually getting the back straps out and what you can do to avoid that in the future, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to get the straps out and how to put them in and how to avoid having issues. Okay, so make sure you watch until the very end of this video. Okay, again, I apologize for any noises you hear. I am literally recording this with baby girl and the boys are playing in the next room. So if you hear any sounds, just bear with me. I hope you still find this video helpful. If you understand parenting life, you know that that's how it is sometimes. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I like to remove or lift off that back flap because it just gives me total access to the straps. That's the first thing. Now here is what is the main culprit for, you know, having trouble removing the back straps. So the first thing is the buckle. It doesn't easily slide through that hole. So you kind of have to do a little bit of wiggling, but once you get it out, now you have access to the strap. But that little flap right there is probably what's holding you up, okay? So there's a smooth side right there, as you can see, and then there's this little tab of fabric. So for me, that is the hardest thing to deal with. So what I like to do is, I do a little flip motion. You'll see right here. So my goal is to try and reverse the, the actual strap so that that little tab of fabric is on top. So I just grab it and twist, you guys. I'm going to show you again. So keep watching if it didn't make sense, but all you do is just twist the strap so now that little tab of fabric is on top. And for me, it's much easier because whatever I can see, I can control and I can position. So then I just push the plastic buckle back through. Again, a little bit of wiggle. And I'm using my fingers and my nails to push that tab of fabric through the slit. And then pull, pull, and there you go. All right, so we're gonna do it again here wiggle that little plastic buckle out make sure that your strap is nice and free again you might have to wiggle because it doesn't perfectly fit through and then you want to get that tab on the top okay because it's just easier to control so you just grab the strap and you just twist it inside so hold it just like you would you know in the car seat sometimes the car seat gets uh, the the straps get all twist it around, you have to untwist it. That's what you're gonna do pretty much. And now you have the tab on top. So you're going to take it, you're going to push everything back through the hole. Okay, your tab's on top. Push it back through the hole. Little bit of wiggling. And then use your fingers, your nails, you can use a butter knife just to keep that tab flat and push it through that slit. Okay, so if you're looking at your high chair, you'll see there's a slit there. You want to get that tab right there that I'm pointing to. You want to get it as flat as possible so you can push it through the slit. Here it is, front view. There's that little tab of fabric. And you're going to just wiggle, 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 wiggle. Make sure that your plastic buckle is also flat because everything needs to be flat to come through that slit. So there's your tab, there's your plastic buckle, and you just wiggle, pull, wiggle, and pull. There you go, okay? 
So it's through. So the two main things that are probably holding you up is that plastic buckle not being perfectly flat and that fabric tab, okay? So if you can get it through, then you'll be fine and it won't be as much of a struggle. All right, so the same thing is for these little buckles here on the back. On my high chair, the tab of fabric is sewn closer so that it's not that big of a tab. So I really don't have a lot of issues pulling these through as long as I have that plastic buckle nice and flat, okay? So there it is. You want to make sure your buckle is as flat as possible so that it can go through that horizontal slit right there. Again, as you can see, that little tab is not as uh, big, so it's not hard, but it could be sewn differently on your high chair. Either way, the same concept applies. You just want to make sure that that tab of fabric is flat and smooth. You just push it through with the plastic buckle and there you go. And just do the same thing for the remaining strap right down there in the seat. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can reinstall after you've washed it. Okay, so the high chair is still dirty, you guys, but you get the picture. Now just pretend everything's nice and clean. Okay, pretend it's nice and clean. And so now I want to prevent myself from having the issue the next time I go to deep clean my high chair. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the plastic buckle through, okay? But when you're putting the plastic buckle through, you're only going to get the buckle itself in. You don't want to have the strap go beyond and have that tab go too far. So here, I'll probably have to show you, okay? So here it is, that tab of fabric, you don't want for it to go through the slit. You only want the plastic buckle. So there it is, the plastic buckle, you're pulling it through, and then you're going to stop before that tab of fabric goes through the slit. So as you can see here, the tab of fabric is still outside of the slit, which is good because then you don't have to worry about trying to pull it back out the next time you go to deep clean. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more motherhood videos. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, remember, I am Sharonda Simone and I will either see you at the top or from the top. You decide. Bye.